Hi everyone and welcome to the show, I'm HamsterGamer101 and this is Outwards From Life, your Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play, episode 13. Uh, you have seen quite a lot of me today, uh, as I said it's because I'm going back to college tomorrow so I don't know how often I will be uploading so I thought I will give you as... I'm definitely going to be uploading all of this week. Or most of this week, I should say. And... Then I don't know. Also, as I keep saying, vote, vote vote for what you want to see me play when Red Dead 2 concludes. Spider-Man has one vote and Fallout 4 has one vote, but that is it. Okay, so I think we're going to do that second train robbery. I'm not sure. But I think we're going to get to do a another train robbery. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, so we're going to go over and speak to John. Hello. Hello, Arthur. Okay. Yeah, I do. Okay, Mr. Morgan. I actually want to try something. Hang on. Do I get to keep my beer if I trigger a cutscene? John? No. Let's get off. Good. Okay. You? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. 
Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. <laughs> be a genius. <laughs> I actually really love that. You can, you can plainly, you can see very plainly the affection that these two have for each other, and that is only gonna amplify the more. Abigail Roberts. Okay, so do... You know what? We did quite a few action-packed missions in the last episode. So, let's... Yeah, let's do something a little bit quieter. Everybody seems happy. I got no idea. <laughs> okay, let's go see what Abigail wants. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably Depends. not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Okay, Thank fine. You. Yes, that's right. This mission, I'm passing the time babysitting. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you start to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Oh, come here then. Come on, boy. Alright. Let's go then. So, where are we going? Just down the road in there. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, <laughs> I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. <laughs> and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, not for a while. We're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Yeah. Uh, rabbits are out. 
hmm. It's these kinds of missions that I really like when you just get a moment to linger. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? Yep. And first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Like Use this. Your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's mm -hmm. it. Good. <laughs> All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Oh, well, you don't feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching? Don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. There! Got him! I see! I see! I have to admit, I totally skipped fishing on my see, first playthrough. That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear them out first before you try to reel them in. Oh, wow. Look, Jack. It's a chain picker. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Okay, now we play the waiting game. On the line. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Whoa, no, 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 Okay. There we you gotta stick go. Of things, Jack. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. This one's a small mouth bass. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happened. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're yeah. lucky. But until then, you just sit, and wait, and try Think not to worry. worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? Yeah. I guess. Huh. One drama. From the way he's fighting, seems to be. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. You still all right over there? I'm fine. Just Good. Just want to catch one more, then we'll call it a day. Oh, 
Come on. I have to admit, this takes... No, 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 no. Yeah, I probably won't be doing fishing again. I know it takes forever. There we go. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. Oh, God. In such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Shut Agent up. Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... Guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing, anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Oh. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. <laughs> enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. See, everything they do, Agent yeah, Milton's you doing. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Everything Agent Milton's doing is understandable and completely justifiable. Uh, my God, he is such a bloody bastard. And for those of you who don't know, Agent Ross Why was the original, was the... Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt them. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. <laughs> it is. Yeah, so we've just been introduced to the bloody bastard that is Agent Milton, and it's his partner in this game that becomes the next bastard in the original Red Dead. Yeah. So. You see that? 
Yeah. yeah. Well, apart from that, I had a pleasurable afternoon. There you are. Okay, you kids. Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. <laughs> we got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um... Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name, Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. What? They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. And on that note, I am going to go get some sleep. Oh, and do they have any... No. They're okay for food. That's good. Hello. That is my sleeping. Attire is just taking the duster and the hat off. Okay, so next, it's the next day. I'm just going to quickly change my clothes. Actually, no, 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 Hats. And last little touch. There we go. And now we are going to go meet John and make something of ourselves. Good morning, Arthur. Hey, Lenny. 
Come on, buddy. Come on, move it. No man, I'm about to rob a train. You heard, I said move it. We've got to be close, surely. <laughs> At least it ain't your job. job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. <laughs> I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get, get shot. shot. That's, That's all. all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? <laughs> real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest, chest open, open if you ain't careful, you're a careful, boy. boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Nice! Oh. Now let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring my oh, Compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. There the we go. Ghost, old man. Okay. <laughs> And what are you? I'm the future in all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. I'm just going to say this now. Arthur is not old. He's 36. Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. Uh, this is party boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right. All right. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. 
Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yeah. Earn it, not rob it. Hey. Earn it. All the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. Right. You see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. There's Let's hope so. Picks up a big team of guards in the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards roads. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. <laughs> Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. <laughs> Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, Not the oh, please. Not this again. Fine. Damn you, tree. Sulky, angry, scar faced. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. Oh, so, my. Got the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, oh. these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. All right. What the odds this is going to go completely wrong? Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. <sighs> Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm going to make sure she slows. I'll still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Go. Go, 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 go. Here she comes. Oh, boy. Come on. Is this thing gonna stop or what? Oh. What's going on here? What's going on? We're, we're robbing your train. And I cannot see a goddamn thing. Thank you. Okay, in the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count to three. One, two. Deal with these two, will you, Mr. Abbott? Oh, which one? Oh, God. Here. Thank you. I am adverse to conflict. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Now, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? 
You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Give us the stuff. Money, valuables. I wasn't going to come back. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to everything that you've got. Come on. Are you smart about this? Come on. Oh, which one? Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. You'll do anything good. Give us your stuff. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Why don't you open your eyes? You're getting robbed, okay. Mister. Okay. Give me everything you None got. Of you folks go oh, muscle. Oh, it's you. you hear me? What is it? You all right? Fill with the baggage car. Okay. What we got? For Christ's sake! You ain't, you ain't even took a look yet. yet. Nice. Oh, fuck's sake. For ah. fuck's sake. Ah. I'm sorry. Come on, get up, you little Irish. Get up. Ah. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. cover. Arthur, we've got a problem. What? Assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, who fan? Marshal Schmidt, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you. Who are you fools? We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn damn liberties. There's a few more than torn enough. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, let's deal with them. Look out on the land, here comes our friends. We got one coming from the trees there. Oh, for goodness! Space? What about the stuff? Oh no, 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 we made it this far. Oh no, we made it this far, I ain't stopping yet. Stupid nag, come on. Let's go, stay with me. No, ah, come on, Haley. Run! Ah! It would help if I could see. Yes, if you are watching this while it's still light and you're in the UK, you can tell it's sunny out because I can't see a damn thing. All right. Move, come on. Ride, let's lose them. Oh my god, is there something wrong with you, horse? Move.
And I made a decent bit of money. <sighs> All right, let's get back to camp and wrap this up. Idiot. Normally, I want to get back before before nightfall. This time, however, I'm trying to get back before. I'm trying to get back before daylight. Come on, horse, move it. Thanks. Alright guys, that is well and truly it for today, but before I go, you know the drill. If you like what I do here and would like to see me do even more, more Outwards for Life, more Welcome to Crystal Lake, my Friday the 13th Let's Play, then just like, comment, subscribe, even do all three if that's what takes your fancy. I really don't mind. Helps keep me operating and it helps me do more and remember, vote, because I'm only going to be doing one game once Red Dead 2's over. So hurry up and vote. Also, if you've been on YouTube, if you've been browsing YouTube for quite a while, you may have come across a channel called The Vintage Geek Emporium. You know the drill with that as well. The guy's a really good friend of mine. Subscribe to him. There's some really good stuff going on in his neck of the woods as well. Not just on YouTube, on Twitch. Uh, I think he's currently playing through Bloodborne right now. I'm not sure. Jen, buddy, are you still playing through Bloodborne right now? Hit me up in the comments and let me know. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with episode 14. And I hope you're having a good evening. Until then, I'm Hamster Gamer 101 and this is Outwards for Life. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.